Oh look, time for another unboxing. I'm kidding, obviously. This has already been opened. That was a part for the Moto G5S Plus, which by the way, there's gonna be a video coming out on that phone very soon. But besides that, today we're gonna be doing another collection video because I haven't done one of those in a very long time and I want to. <laughs> so uh, yeah, without further ado, Let's get into it. So this collection video is just going to be all of my Samsung phones. Um, so starting off, I'm not going to say this at the end this time. I'm just going to say it in the beginning. Um, I'm recording on my Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus on Sprint. This is running Android Pie, and there's really nothing too special about it. Um, it's still going. It's still working. <laughs> It's just super scratched up and now cracked on the front. Soon I want to get an S10 or something like that. I don't know. I'll see. But anyways, on Android Pie, it actually runs very well. I love multitasking on this thing, by the way. But yeah, um, if you couldn't tell already, I say this in pretty much every single video, or at least collection video that I do. I am recording on that phone right now, and I'm actually using my DJI Osmo Mobile 2 this time, um, so that's nice. I haven't used this thing in a very long time. So yeah, anyways, uh, besides the S9 Plus, I think I'm gonna start off with the dumb phones. I like to call them dumb because <laughs> they're not smart. Ha 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 ha. First up, we have a first generation Samsung Elias. This has a broken front screen. I got this at a Goodwill outlet I don't remember where. Oh, no, never mind. I do. It was in Colorado where I got this at a Goodwill outlet. And yeah, this one works totally fine. I'll show you right now. Cool thing about these is that they also flip out like this, which is really unique. So yeah, most of these are charged, by the way, um, which is good. I made sure to charge a lot of them. Oh my god. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off, but... Yeah, there's that one. Here we have this thing. I don't know where the back cover went. It's been missing for a while now, and I just really don't know where it went. I've tried finding it multiple times, but I can't. This is whatever whatever it is. I don't, I don't know. It should say it. If not, then I'll take the battery out. And it doesn't, of course. It's a Samsung SGH S125G. Next up is this thing. I don't really know what it is. Hold on. This is an SEHR375C. It works, but it doesn't have a battery in it, and honestly, I just don't feel like... Hold on, hold on. There's a battery right here. I don't know if this one's charged, though. Nope, no, it's not. Okay, well, that one's just <laughs> gonna be dead. Anyways, next up, we have this thing. It is an SCHU340, and it works. I charged this one up. I know that for a fact. So, let's... Whoop, I almost dropped it. Let's go ahead and power this one on. As you see, it works. Both screens. Uh, are you dead? Bro. Oh my god. Well, I guess that one's, <laughs> that one's already dead. That one must have the bad battery, I guess, but, uh, does this one even have bad, this one doesn't have a battery, but this was basically my first phone, uh, ever. It's a GTE 1080W. It works. It just doesn't have a battery in it, and I don't feel like finding a battery. So yeah, let's just get all the non-battery ones done for now. Here is an SGHT239. It works, just doesn't have a battery, like I just said. So yeah, there's that one. This one, this is an SGHT199. It's on T-Mobile, it works, just doesn't have a battery and a back cover. This one is one of the two SGHT659s that I have. This one is faulty, while well, this one works but I don't think I charged this one up, so I'm just gonna count. Oh, I did. All right, well, uh, there we go. Yeah, this one works, and it works totally fine other than that spot on the LCD right there. So yeah, there's that. Next up, we have this. What? Okay, it's on T-Mobile. Good. Yay. Okay, go. Anyways, here we have a Sprint, Samsung, whatever the heck. It's an SPH M300. It has a very crappy screen, but it works. Yeah, it, you can automatically tell that it has just a god-awful screen. But, yeah, it looks like it should have a better screen, but it doesn't, unfortunately. So, yeah. Is this one... Oh, it's not. Okay, cool. What the... F can you... Okay. Turn off. There we go. I like that animation. Brings back memories. Here we have an LG, or not LG, <laughs> Samsung. Uh, this is an SCH 
U thirty or no U three sixty. I almost said U thirty six C. Um, wow, I just tossed that. <laughs> this one works, and I charge this one up. So if it doesn't turn on, I'm going to flip. It's not turning on. I'm gonna flip. I flipped. Here we have a foreign phone. I don't know what this is. Uh, guess I can take off the back cover to find out. It is a GTE 360, or no, 3300L, and it works. It's basically the same thing as this one right here, except this one doesn't have a camera, and this one's smaller. It's weird. But yeah, this one does have a back cover as well as a battery, obviously, so that means I can turn it on if I can get the back cover all the way on because OCD. Okay. There we go. Turns on. Has a very god-awful camera. It's on Intel, as you can see. So, yeah, there's that. Decent little phone. It's kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. Um, here we have a Samsung Rugby 2 or something. I can't remember, but I don't feel like taking off this back, actually, because it's a pain in the butt to get off, but it works. You see my jacket in the background. It's on AT&T. Works totally fine. Tiny bit beat up from a video I did uh, a long time ago, but yeah, it's still, it's still going, which is really good. So yeah, as you can see, it works. Let's turn it off. Mm, there we go. Wow, all right. Here we have this little thing. I don't know what this is at all. It's some sort of Samsung phone on TELUS, but it's really beat up. This screen is cracked, unfortunately, and I cannot get it to turn on at all. But it's still such a really cool phone. Um, if anyone knows what this is, tell me down in the comment section because I do not know what this is at all, and I would love to know because I want to get one of these that works. So, yeah. Here we have a... T-Mobile Samsung Gravity 2. This one works, just doesn't have a battery. Same with this one. This one also doesn't have a battery, but this one also works as well. And it's the same thing as Samsung Gravity 2. Speaking of Samsung Gravities, here's a Gravity 1, and this one should have a battery in it, but I don't know. It doesn't have a battery in it. Alright, this one doesn't have a battery in it, but it's still a pretty cool phone. Um, I actually like this one over the other one, to be honest in terms of design at, at least, but um, yeah. Here we have a Samsung Intensity one, I think. This, what is it called? I don't know. But this one works. Same with my other Intensity one right here, which also works. Here we have an Intensity two. Yes, Intensity two. This one works totally fine. And here we have a semi-functional Intensity 2, which has a bad LCD. This is cracked. Uh, the hinge is messed up. There's no keyboard. It's basically just a parts phone at this point. Um, even though it's probably never going to be used for parts. But yeah, here's a really cool phone. This is a Samsung... Uh, crap, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Samsung SGH S390G. And this is a cool phone because it has Wi-Fi. Even though it's a really generic crappy track phone it still has wi-fi why isn't this one turning up okay well i guess i drained the battery on that one messing around but i swear to god i charged that one anyways um here we have this phone it is a samsung sch u660 and it works totally fine and as you can see it turns on works totally fine so yeah there's that one we are almost done with the dumb phones. Um, here we have the Samsung Elias 2. Another really, really cool phone, except unfortunately I don't know where the back went. It also randomly disappeared. The keyboard it uses electronic ink, at least that's what you call it. Um, think of it as a Kindle, because it's basically the exact same. At least the screen. Or, not the screen, but the keyboard. Uh, the button, turn it on, is actually right here. Although, when it's turned on, you can turn it off with the end button. Um, oh my god, why isn't this one charged? That sucks. Okay, well, a lot of these I charged, like, a week ago, getting ready for this video, so 
and a lot I know a lot of them have really bad batteries, so I apologize, but I've shown that one in uh, earlier collection videos, so I know you guys have already seen it. Here is a phone that I ran over with my mom's car for another video. If you didn't check that video out, it'll probably be up here if I remember to put it there. Um, if not, then tell me that I'm a retard in the comment section. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that video was pretty fun. It was actually really fun to make. Um, I ran over this phone, another phone, and an iPhone 4 with a busted LCD. So yeah. Here we have this phone. This is a very thin phone. It, I know for a fact, doesn't have a battery, but it, it works. It's really nothing special. This one doesn't have a battery. Uh, this is an SGHA157V. It works totally fine, and uh, yeah. There's, go on, there we go. There's that. Here we have this phone. This one doesn't have a battery. It is a SGHT229. Works as well, just needs a battery like every single other one of these phones, I swear. Here we have this cool thing. It's an SGH L760V. And the main thing about this phone that's really cool about it is that it has a front facing camera, which is just weird, but it's cool. As you see, it's right there, and yes, that is a real front-facing camera. It does work. I've tried it out before. It's god-awful, but it works. <laughs> um, L760V, if I didn't say that already, works totally fine. Got it for like a dollar at the flea market with a charger, so yeah. Here we have this one, and I'm not going to bother taking the back off of this, but this used to be my grandfather's phone. Um, it doesn't work right now because the battery is taken out of it out of the back cover because the back cover or the battery is like built into the back cover so yeah I took out the battery inside of the back cover and put it in another phone which I don't know where that one is but yeah here we have this one it looks like a speaker on the front it's a SGH A737 yeah SGH A737 For the most part it works, except unfortunately these buttons don't work at all, so, and that's because of a ripped cable, but it does show stuff on the screen, it's just that I can't use it because these buttons won't work, um, due to the ripped cable, so yeah, that sucks. And yeah, that's all of the dumb phones that I have, um, so yeah, now let's move on to the smartphones. I already went over my S9 Plus, so besides that, starting off we have the Samsung Admire. This phone is actually decent, I guess. I used to use this back in 8th grade. Um, this was one of the many Android 2 phones I used in 8th grade um, before I got my iPhone 5C and then my Galaxy S4. Uh, yeah, it's an SCH R720. That's the model number. It works totally fine. It's on Android 2.3.4 or something. This one, although the screen says Metro PCS, it's actually unlocked. Um, I replaced the screen on it, but unfortunately the screen has a Metro PCS logo. The old screen doesn't, but it's whatever now. It doesn't have a broken screen at least, so yeah. Next up we have a Samsung Galaxy Nexus. This phone works totally fine. I charged this one up. I charged basically all of these except for the ones that don't have batteries. So yeah, this one runs Android 4. It's a stock version of Android, of course, because it's Google's old Nexus line. Here's this one, by the way. Oh, come on, work. There we go. Yeah, it works totally fine. I'm gonna go ahead and power it off. And there we go. I really love this boot up animation for the Nexuses. It just looks really cool. I don't know. But yeah, here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and power it off because I don't need to keep it on anymore. But yeah. Next up, we have a Samsung Galaxy Rep. It doesn't have a battery, but it works totally fine. Um, I mean, I guess I can grab the battery out of the Samsung Admire. This is starting to bloat, actually. That's not good. Also, it has a dent in it, which is also not good. <laughs> or not. Ah, there we go. See how much it's bloated? Sticking out that much. That's great. Anyways, it's an SCH R6... 
80. Now you can't really see it, but yeah, that's the model number. It works totally fine. It also runs Android too. It's on US Cellular. Here we have a Samsung Dart. I water tested this thing multiple times as well as uh, making a waterproof case, which I also did a video on. And actually, speaking of which, that case is right here. <laughs> it was made out of hot glue. Um, and it actually worked very, very well. Um, Jesus. This thing has been in the dryer, or the, the washer, the dryer. It's been through multiple cycles of water and everything, but it's still held up. Still kept on working. What the... Okay, bud. So yeah, here's this. This one also runs Android 2. Here we have this thing. I don't know what this is, but I guess I can take it off, maybe, if it'll let me. Come on. There we go. That was a pain. This is an SCHU940, and it works. I charged this one up as well. It will just say non-supported battery, but that's all right. Um, here we go. Finally, I charge this one up because usually I don't. Um, but yeah, it's on Verizon. It works totally fine. It's extremely thick and extremely tiny, um, but it works. So, you know, that's cool. <laughs> okay. Wow. I never even noticed that, but all right. Anyways, oh, let's turn it off. So yeah, there we go. It also has flash. Although it's god awful. It looks like a 90s camera. <laughs> but that's alright. Here we have a Samsung Galaxy Exhibit. One of the two that I have. Which, speaking of which, the other one is right here. Both of these run Android 4. And I got both of them out of the Target bin at the same time. With the same exact stickers on both of them. Um, so yeah. They're both in similar condition. Although one of them has a really, really, really weird issue. That I just cannot seem to get sorted out. But yeah, both of them work. Both of them are on Metro PCS, as you can see. And uh, yeah, this one's the one with the, the issue. I don't know why, but there's only three icons here. Wait, yeah, this is the one with the issue. There's only three icons on the thing. It won't connect to Wi-Fi properly. There's an issue with the keyboard. There's issues with it switching back to the Metro PCS wallpaper, even though I change it. Um, so yeah, this thing just has a lot of unknown issues, and I cannot figure out what they are, but it's whatever. So there's that one, and here's the other one. This one works totally fine. And yeah, there we go. Here we have a Samsung Galaxy S7 in a life-proof case. I'll take it out for you guys real quick. Hold on. Now, this is a display phone, which means that, number one, it doesn't have a fingerprint scanner, and number two, it doesn't have a baseband, which means I can't make calls or text out of this thing at all. But, other than that, this is a fully functional S7 um, live demo unit, is what it says right here, by the way. This thing has been rom to run Android Pie with Lineage OS, and I really like this boot-up screen, by the way. But, uh, yeah. It runs a stock version of Android Pie. Runs very well. And yeah. I mainly use this for music, but the battery dies really, really fast, which kind of sucks. I'm probably going to replace the battery soon, um, just because why not? I would love to use this as like a music phone or a Wi-Fi phone. So yeah, there's that. I'm just going to leave it out of the case so I can wipe it off and put it back properly. But um, yeah, here we have a Samsung Galaxy Ace. Uh, this is a first generation. I took it apart to fix the touchscreen, and I fixed it for the most part, but I accidentally cracked it when I was taking it off, unfortunately, but it's really not a big deal. It's an older phone. Uh, this phone works totally fine. It just doesn't have a back cover or a battery. Samsung Galaxy Y running the most god-awful ROM um, for it to look like Android 7. It's dead. Thank God, because I don't want to turn it on. This is the first phone I put a ROM on. And, yeah, it's just Android 2, but made to look like Android 7 or whatever the heck. So, yeah. Here we have a Samsung Galaxy... Uh, what What is this thing? S-Continuum. It's a Samsung Galaxy S-Continuum. 
I'm pretty sure the battery in this one is just gone, which it is. So I'll find a battery in a second after I show you this one, because this one has a battery. This is a Samsung Galaxy, uh, crap, what is this? I don't know what this is, um, but I'll turn it on. Maybe it'll say, uh, it won't, will it? But it works, it, I just don't remember what this actually is. But it's a decent phone, it's kind of cool. Although every single time I turn it off and then turn it back on, the wallpaper changes back to the Metro freaking PCS wallpaper, which is really annoying, but whatever. Other than that, it's totally fine. It runs Android 2, um, and yeah, the big 4G logo on the back because it has 4G. Uh, so yeah, all right. So next up is the, yeah, it's upside down. The Samsung Galaxy S Continuum. Um, like I said before, the battery was just god-awful, so I took it out of uh, wherever the other phone went, and now it's in here. And as you see, it turns on. While that one's turning on, I'll show you this one. This one's a Samsung Galaxy S4. It works totally fine. It's on AT&T, but it's unlocked. And as you see, this one works fine as well. Here we have a Samsung Galaxy S3, and this one has a completely shattered screen in the middle, but it still works. Um, so yeah, <laughs> there's that. That one's turning on. That one's still turning on. I wonder if that one's just going to stay in a boot loop because it has a bad or a different battery. It might. Anyways, here we have a Samsung Galaxy Lite. This one works totally fine. And yeah, it's a pretty nice phone on T-Mobile. So is this one. I'm going to go ahead and turn this one off. As well as this one. This one's running Android 5. This one runs Android 4, Android 2, Android 4. Let's go ahead and put all these over here. Here we have a Samsung Galaxy J3 Luna Pro. This one has a very, very, very scratched tape screen protector. That's right, that's how I do things around here. I make tape screen protectors. When I don't feel like buying a screen protector for a phone that's super cheap, uh, yeah, I'll just do that. Because, why not? This one's on track phone, obviously, because it's a J3 Luna Pro. It works totally fine. It's honestly in really, really good condition. Um... But yeah, I used to have another one of these, but I traded it for a friend, or to a friend. It runs Android 6, and yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and power it down. Here's the Samsung Galaxy S2. This one doesn't have a battery. So I'll put this to the side, and I'll show you this. This is a Samsung Galaxy S1, uh, the Vibrant variant, and uh, this one was strictly for T-Mobile, the Vibrant. But um, yeah, here it is. Wait, we're... Bruh, did you just see that? <laughs> did you see that? Oh, there it goes. There, It's back on. All right, well then. Anyways, it works totally fine. And speaking of S1s, while well, this one's turning on. Actually, never mind, it's already on. But still, speaking of S1s, here we have a original unlocked Samsung Galaxy S1. This is the one with the home button, the GT i9000 or whatever the heck. There it is. We'll turn this one off, and I'll show you that one. I appreciate that boot screen a lot. <laughs> Let's take the battery out of this S1, put it into the S2, and we can power on that. It's an S2 Epic, if I didn't say so. I think I only called it an S2, but it's an S2 Epic on Sprint. Crack down here, but it works totally fine. Ah, there we go. Turns on. Here's this one. Works totally fine. I'm gonna go ahead and power it off. That one turn turning on. Sprint 4G, whatever. This thing is still trying to boot up. Don't know why. But, yeah, there it is. Um, 
while this one's turning on, never mind, it's on. <laughs> Here we go, running Android 4, while those run Android 2, by the way. Um, let's turn this one off. Here we have a Samsung Galaxy S7. This one is on Sprint. It, I think, has a blacklisted ESN. Cracked on the front, but has a very, very good working AMOLED screen with absolutely no burn-in. And the body, as well as the back, are in mint condition, which is why I have this case on it. Um, yeah, it's a really nice phone on Android 8, which kind of sucks, but, you know, it's the slowest out of all the S7s that I have currently. Um, and speaking of S7s, here is another S7. This time, it's an S7 Edge, unlocked, um, which, by the way, both of these phones came from Tech Center, so these came from Canada. Um, this one has an Exynos processor, obviously, because it's not a U.S. variant, because U.S. variants of everything suck, apparently. Um, but yeah, it's Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Uh, it used to have a giant chunk missing from the screen, but I did a screen replacement video, well, replacement, where I just bought a test screen and put it on this phone to see if it actually worked and everything, and now I think I'm just going to keep this screen on here because why not? I mean, it works totally fine with it on, so yeah. I put screw, I put screws in places like those, 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 to keep the motherboard in place because I want to make this a clear phone, but I need a back glass that I can turn clear first. Um, so yeah. There's that. Really nice phone. I keep it in a spec case that I got off of Amazon. So, yeah. This one. Let's turn this one off. Last of all my S7s, we have an S7 Edge on T-Mobile. Originally on Sprint, but I motherboard swapped them. Um, it works totally fine. It's just cracked up here. And it had a slight crack right there, but uh, somehow it cracked more. I really don't know how because I never take it anywhere. But... Yeah. Anyways, uh, here it is. Someone is someone trying to call me? Anyways, here it is. S7 Edge. It's silver, and it works totally fine. It just needs new back glass because, well, I guess it just turned itself off for me. Thank you, then. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyways, yeah, there's that. All right, it's the next day, and as you can see, I'm wearing a different uh, uh, thing. Um, I got a few more phones to go over. I guess that's not a few, but... <laughs> But anyways, I also added that one, which I just found. So yeah, let's go through the rest of these. So here we have a Samsung Admire. Not hmm. here we have a Samsung Intercept. It works fine. It's just probably wait is oh it's turning on. Okay, good. It's slide phone runs Android two, three point two megapixel. Amazing camera. Yeah. Yeah, anyways, there's that. Next up, we have my other S3. This one is in mint condition. It's on Sprint. It works, as you can see. Runs Android 4, obviously. I don't know. Oh, it is charged. Okay, cool. Next up, uh, we have this. The... What is this? I don't even know what this is, honestly. It will hopefully... It pro Oh my god, of course it doesn't. Okay, anyways, this is an SGH... Oh my god, shut up, please. This is... <laughs> Anyways, this is an SGH-I407, I believe. Um, I'm going to put the battery back in and try starting it up for the second time. Here's the Samsung Intercept. Works. It's an extremely laggy phone. This is one of the other phones that I used in 8th grade as well. Um, so, yeah. There's that. I think I bought this one in 8th grade for like $5 off of a friend before I even really started collecting phones. I'm not sure, I can't remember. But, um, yeah, here's the S3. Uh, actually, never mind, because I guess it's dead. Uh, that's because that one has a just garbage battery, but... Anyways, can you turn on? Oh, there we go. Next up, we have this, the Samsung Brightside. This is not an Android phone, it's a Java phone, but it works. It almost looks like a smaller, more crappy version of the Samsung Droid Charge. Which I also used to use in 8th grade, and that one was actually a really good phone. But yeah, here's another Java phone. This is some sort of 
pink Samsung thingy, I don't know. It's an SPH M380, I believe, or M360, I can't really read it, because it's so freaking small, but it does work. As you can see, here's this. This works fine. I'm gonna go ahead and take the battery out of this one and put it into another phone, the Samsung Galaxy Ace 2, because this one has a trash battery that doesn't work at all. So yeah, let's just put the battery in here and which is the cover. Nope. Wait, that's actually very similar. I just noticed that. Here's the back cover. All right, let's turn this one on. This one's a decent phone, I think. I don't know anymore. But, yeah, here here we go. GTI8160. Here's the Samsung bright side. Uh, hello. Ah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, there it is. I'm going to turn it off. And here's this one. Let that one boot up. If I remember correctly, this does run Android 4, but it could also run... Oh, what the... It runs Android 2. So I guess it runs Android 2, which kind of sucks because this is... I, I thought it would run Android 4, but I guess it doesn't. It's that old. Here we have the Samsung Galaxy Rugby or something. I don't know. It, it'll show it when it turns on, I think. Rugby LTE. There we go. Samsung Rugby LTE. Um, this is a pretty nice phone. Got this in a trade with Tech Center, and it works totally fine. It's just slightly cracked right there, but it's a pretty rugged phone. And yeah, there it is. It's turning on right now, I believe. If it's not, then I'm going to die. Oh, okay. That means I don't have to die. Here we have a Samsung Galaxy S5. Now, there's a backstory behind this one. I found this one in the Target bin. Um, and this was the first phone I ever took apart using my heat gun. Um, so this was the first phone I did that on. And I messed up. As you can see, I burnt the AMOLED. And also ripped the touchscreen cable. But the AMOLED still works, surprisingly. Um, but yeah, I actually recently got some adhesive. And yeah, this is the adhesive. It's just a 36-yard uh, roll of adhesive. Uh, that's like 2 millimeters wide, I think. Um, and I used only two strips on this, and it it worked. It worked very well, actually. But this phone, um, I took it apart for a reason. It's because it just boot loops, and it, yeah, it, it sucks. So, yeah, there's that phone. Here we have a Samsung Galaxy Core Prime. This one works totally fine. Runs Android 6. It's on Metro PCS, but it's unlocked. And while that one's turning on, here's the last Java phone, and I don't really care to take it apart because it's really, really hard to get the back off of this one, but it does work, as you can see. Here is the Core Prime. I was mistaken, this runs Android 5. So this thing has a messed up touchscreen, like a very messed up touchscreen, and the menu button as well as the back button don't work, so I have to use this kind of thing right here, but it works for the most part, I guess. It's just really hard to navigate, um, so yeah. Also, I apologize for all the screaming in the background. That would be my very annoying cousins. They only do this when I record, and one of them just fell. <laughs> Anyways, last but not least, we have my old phone, the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. This screen damage is all on me. I did all of that, obviously, on accident, but still. Um, the back, as well as the sides, are mint. I can take it out of the case and show you, but yeah, I bought this phone mint like three years ago or something, I don't know, um, and yeah, now it's like that, so soon if I get enough money and it won't be a big deal, um, I'll get a new screen for it, but for now it's going to stay like this, um, but yeah, it works totally fine, it's on T-Mobile, as you can see, working totally fine. Just needs a new screen because of, obviously, the cracks and the slight bit of LCD damage down there. So, yeah. Uh, that being said, obviously this is not all of my Samsung phones. I already showed you the other ones, but I put them away because today is 
the next day. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and leave a comment down below telling me what you think. And yeah, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications if you want to see more of this content. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.